All right, uh, we're gonna do a quick little video on how to TFTP uh, some files out from an Aruba CX switch to a TFTP server. Uh, let's just say you have a PCAP file that you want to uh, throw out somewhere um, so you can get the information, whether you gotta take it with TAC or something like that. So actually, let's uh, dive into the whole process of setting up a mirror session um, downloading some information uh, from a port, and then we will send this on uh, through TFTP. So the first thing we need to do is create a session mirror or a mirror session. So we need to go into config mode, which we are already in, um, and then we need to do a mirror session one, could be one, two, three, whatever. Um, source, interface, set your interface, and then you have the option of doing both, which is transmit and free, transmit and receive, or you can do one of one or the other one. If you want to look at some specific, um, usually I just do both so I can catch both sides. Uh, and then you need to set the destination. Um, if you have a computer sitting in a closet, uh, you know, tied into another port, you can set the destination to you know say 1.1.2 or or whatever you want it to be. Um, if you have uh, another computer setting up ready with Wireshark. But in this case, um, we are just gonna send it to the CPU. Uh, this will actually download the um, PCAP on the switch itself, and then we'll have to TFTP it out. So we'll just do that. And then we need to enable it, enable. And then if we want to get out of there and actually do the diagnostics, we'll type in diagnostics. And then we'll do Diog, Utilities, T-Shark, and then T-Shark, and the, the, the file name is just going to be the file where it's actually gonna be saved at. So we just, we just type file, it'll be a temporary location. And we hit that. Now if you see this going, it's actually recording all the traffic on this port, on this 1.1.1 uh, port right here. Um, so then we're just gonna hit Control C to end that. Now the, the uh, file has actually been saved on the switch itself. Now if we want to get that off of there, if we actually want to TFTP that off, um, we, gotta, we gotta kinda change this a little bit um, to do that. So if we say copy T shark PCAP TFTP, and then we'll say our IP address, and we're going to, and then the name of the file, pcap, br, f, br, f. Okay, so this is going to be this last piece here. Usually the, the documentation will say MGMT. If you try that and your uplink port, your routed interface port that you have, you know, an IP address assigned, is on say a different VRF, say it's a default or whatever you have, it will not be management. Management is for your management port. So if you have your management port with an IP address connected to it, then you can use this MGMT. But if you do not have that, and this is actually going out your uplink port that has your VLAN and inter uh, routed interface on it, you need to set that. So in my case, it's just default. That's what our VRF is. So I'm just gonna hit default, boom, it's there. You can see the file got sent through. So that is one little case that you'll have to keep in mind is this default thing. The other thing that you might run into is you might hit this command and hit enter and it says access denied or something like that. Well, you need to make sure that you have access to uh, write privileges to the folder that you're going to. So if you need to change that, you need to go and right click onto that folder setting uh, in your Windows server, wherever that's at, um, and change those permissions so you can do, you know, have, I mean, I have full access to, to that folder on this instance, um, but just check that as well. Um, you can also just send it to downloads. Usually uh, in your downloads folder, you have permissions uh, there as well. So that's it. Quick and dirty. If you like it, give it a subscribe. Thank you.